healing support masteries. So as you might have guessed, we're gonna go for Wind Speaker's blessing, and here's how we get there. So Wanderer, as stated in my other video, which you may or may not have watched, uh, Savagery is probably not gonna be the greatest on supports. Secret Stash or Runic Affinity, I would leave that up to you. I don't really have a preference yet. I don't play that much support as it is, so. Meditation is probably the obvious choice on healing supports because while doing extra damage is nice, it's not important to your kit as much as sitting back and healing, so. Since all of these champions, Janna, Sona, Soraka, Nami, all use mana, I think that's a good choice. Probably not a dangerous game either, so bandit. And you're never gonna build enough items to get use out of this cooldown reduction cap. So you just go for the armor and magic penetration. And then of course when speaker's blessing so you get stronger heals and shields. And let me think about this for a second. Health regen because it's good. Tough skin for lane. This is like self healing and self shield, so that might still be decent. Or you can go with the HP. So if it's like Sona, then she's probably going to want Runic Armor. Extra HP is not very valuable on Sona because her base resistances are so low. So in that case, you would want Runic Armor. But uh, let's say Janna may not care about shielding herself as much as shielding her AD carry. So she doesn't really want Runic Armor. So she, she'd go for Veteran Scars. So... When you're making generic pages like this, you just kind of have to like fill in the blanks a little bit for yourself and just go with what feels good. So 15% reduced cooldown summoners looks really good to me too. That means like 15% reduced cooldown on your exhaust. So you probably don't need the regeneration because you have a decent amount of sustain from Seeker Stash and um, they did mess with the prices of everything. You have like 500 starting gold. You probably don't need Perseverance outside of tanky support. And then of course you still have the choice to go Runic Affinity if you choose to do that. But you're not going to be getting that many buffs. The only buffs that would really apply to is Epic Monsters. Or in the off chance you do end up getting like a, a double buff. Maybe it wins you a lane. Maybe it doesn't. But Seeker Sash is probably the more consistent pick. And so yeah, this is a specific review. If you want to see me review anything, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you.